these are the fragrances I'll be wearing all week. I've decided to go for a theme this week and I've gone for my stronger, more opulent, more night out kind of fragrances. So these fragrances I would usually choose to wear on a night out rather than a day at work. I quickly run through them. At the back is Rome 63 next to Naxos. Then you've got Le, um, then you've got Le Maroc Port L. In the middle, Iris Ganache. To the right is Frangipan by Chantigal. Over here is Tobacco Rose from Papillon. And then in the front, you've got Baccio di Velluto. And in that decant, the pink decant is Le Plus Beau Jour de Ma Vie from Galan. These are all fragrances I find rich, opulent, decadent, beautiful, very much perfect night out fragrances. So scent of the day today, it's Monday and I'm wearing Le Maroc Pour L. This is so rich, it's rich and resinous and sweet. There's a beautiful sticky labdanum in the dry down. It's actually half past six. I've been at work all day, so it's half past six p.m. I sprayed it on about eight, half eight this morning. It's still going really, really strong. Beautiful, resinous, jasmine and labdanum, and it's sweet and exotic and enticing. Definitely one of my real hard hitters, but I didn't get any comments. I did go quite lightly, so I've only got about one spray up here and then um, a little spray on each wrist because it is so strong that I needed to go quite light because it's not really appropriate to stink the whole office out. Is it? Mm, not sure. But I smell fabulous anyway. So here we are in my week of opulence. We're now on Tuesday and I decided to go with Iris Ganache. It's half past seven in the morning and I'm wearing Iris Ganache to work because I'm opulent and decadent and I just feel like smelling bloody amazing. Scent of the day today, so it's Wednesday and I've gone with Frangipan from Chantical. So this one is very much about the white florals very beachy feel, very kind of, it is fresh, the florals are very fresh, but there is a background to it that's quite opulent and rich at the same time. So I haven't worn this one in a little while, so it's really nice to finally wear it again. And I'm wearing Yves Rocher Dry Oil, um, Mono Oil, which kind of matches or, you know, is quite close. Again, it's a frangipani kind of smell, which I really love, it's definitely my favourite floral. So I'm off to work. So my scent of the day today is Tobacco Rose from Papillon. A really good, strong, rich fragrance that I almost always only wear on a night out. So it was a little bit different for me to wear this one today and actually it didn't feel like it was too much or over the top. I didn't feel like I really stood out but I definitely smell like a nobody else at work, which is a great thing. So Sweet is at the door. As you can see, I'm sitting on the floor here. Wants to go out, don't you, darling? Why are you being funny? Oh, okay. You want this door opened? Off you go then. No? So that's a typical cat for you. <laughs> indecisive as ever anyway that was my scent of the day i thoroughly enjoyed it and i'll be back with a scent of the night so i promised you a scent of the night and here it is a baccio di velluto from brigantia perfumes and i'm going out to watch a band in a pub obviously meet my friend lindsay have a few drinks it is a school night and i've got work tomorrow but don't do it much. I'll be probably suffering tomorrow if I have a few drinks, but um, we'll worry about that tomorrow. Catch you all in the next one. So my scent of the day today has been Naxos. Zerjoff Naxos, this one here. I am not showing you my face, 
because I look rough as a duck's ass. You might just see a little bit of me in the reflection of that bottle cap, but that's all you are seeing because I really do look terrible. I've been at work all day. I did end up with a bit of a hangover. Oops, but it was a fun night and the band were excellent and I smelt really, really good. I bloody love that Baccio di Velluto, that one there. In fact, I've just put a spritz on my wrist now to um, wear it to bed because I love it so much. But uh, today's choice was Naxos. It did very well. It lasts so well, this one, but it does bore me. I mean, it smells amazing when you first spray it on, but you don't get much changing with it. It, it really doesn't shift and I just get a bit sick of it. And because I was feeling slightly unwell as well, it's a touch cloying. So I think actually, oh, here comes sweetie. I think actually I might just sell that last little bit that I've got. I don't think I, I think I'm kind of over it actually. So um, here she comes, look, can you believe that? A cheeky little minx. She's so naughty. Yeah, I know darling, I think she's bored. She received her water this evening very well. We put fluids in her and she uh, she didn't, doesn't like it. She's slightly uncomfortable, but she took it and now she's happy and she doesn't really mind too much. She knocks my perfume over. I might not be quite so nice <laughs> to her. Anyway, I think that's enough. So scent of the day has been uh, Serge of Naxos and I've just put an extra spray of Baccio di Velluto on to go to bed with. Let's leave you with Sweetie's lovely face. Kiss. Oh, Sweetie, so cute, aren't you? Night, everybody. So, scent of the day today, Saturday. I'm going to pop into work and do a little bit, three or four hours maybe. And I'm wearing, that's my atomizer. And it is Le Plus Beaujour de Ma Vie from Galan. So, a very expensive very rich, sweet, almond, floral, pretty fragrance. Normally reserved for a night out, but as I said earlier, I'm just wearing all my night out fragrances this week. And this is probably one of the most special because A, it cost me the most money, and B, I hankered after it for a long time. And I really, really love the way this one smells. It is beautiful. So off I go. Scent of the night, going round my friend Cheryl's house for a girly night. A few girls coming round, gonna have some drinks and some food. And I still smell amazing from Le Plus Beaujour de Ma Vie that I sprayed earlier on today. I've not had a shower. I mean, I did have a shower earlier today. I'm not gonna shower again. So I'm just gonna go on with a little bit more of Le Plus Beaujour de Ma Vie just a little bit more because it is precious. So I'm gonna do one spray on my wrist as well once I've stopped yabbering on here. So, morning. I've woken up in my friend Cheryl's house and in the Tinkerbell bedding. And I just thought I would add to yesterday's scent of the day post, scent of the night post. I can still smell Le Plus Beaujour de Ma Vie. I can smell it coming from my chest area and I just think that's amazing that it's still going strong. It's nearly 9am now and I sprayed it yesterday at about half six in the evening. So pretty damn good for Le Plus Beaujour de Ma Vie. It is beautiful. I really love it. And that's it. I'm going to go get some coffee. Scent of the bike ride. So it's Sunday lunchtime now and the scent of the bike ride is going to be rhubarb and citrus cologne. So I'm just, I haven't done any cycling for a while. Just going to um, get my bike out. No doubt I have to pump the tyres a little bit and maybe go out just for an hour just to burn off some excess, just general excess. So my week of opulence ends on this peaceful Sunday night. I've just had a lovely long bath and I will be applying Rome 63. Rome 1963 from 4,160 Tuesdays. This fragrance is a beautiful 
white floral tobacco combination that just has this real rich vintage feel which I absolutely love a really nice one for a relaxed evening I've had a busy day with my bike ride and everything and I feel like just want to chill now I'm just gonna relax and I will be smelling utterly beautiful thank you for watching my scent of the day videos and I'll be back with another video very soon